Hi everybody. Um, I'm just going to show you a song uh, in FL Studio um, I'm making at the moment. It's not finished, but I've managed to get my head around a screen shot. Uh, it's a live screen capture. So I'm using it for the first time, see how it goes. And the other thing is I'll just show you, uh, in this one video anyway, some of the helpful ways that I find of learning FL Studio. Um, if I can learn it, anyone can learn it. So let's get on with the music then. So this is not a, uh, it's not a finished piece, it's uh, something I've just been playing around with for a couple of months now. First thing you notice um, <clears throat> is a lot of automation. I use a lot of automation, especially on volumes. Um, it tends to flow everything nicely together instead of being abruptly put together like building blocks. Baseline, we'll just highlight the baseline. I'll solo it so you can hear it. Next is the vocals, where um, a chopped up a cappella. samples of the piano in reverse. your riser. got the piano going through Fruity Love Filter. I just take Fruity Love Filter off and solo the piano and you can hear it.
now we're going to put the rhythm guitar through effect on. So obviously here I haven't finished it at the end, particularly the end here. <laughs> uh, yet to be finished, yet to be mastered as well. Okay, um, some helpful hints in FL Studio. Uh, what I found really helpful and time-saving is with shortcuts on the keyboard. So you have your keyboard, instead of using your mouse and going here, there and everywhere to do one specific thing, you can actually find shortcuts on your keyboard. You probably know they exist, but how many do you know? I don't know too many myself. Um, the best way of learning is to repeat them over and over. So what I do, just next to where I work here, right on the side with my pens and pencils. I have a list, just a short one, this is one I'm learning at the moment. Um, so it's got select all, which is control A, so I'll, if I'm not sure I'll think about it, but if I don't know I'll go, oh yes it's select A, click click, and then and use the mouse and go from there. So the select all, select, copy, paste, duplicate, and then there's some numbers, five, six, seven, and nine, which correspond to the Playlist, sequencer, piano roll, and mixer. Instead of finding a little symbols for them, you can just bang, and there you go. So they're not the only ones I know, but they're the ones that I'm always using. And after a couple of months, maybe three months, I'll um, I'll have them in my head. And so that's a hel helpful hint for you. Have shortcuts right next to where you work. Look at them and keep referring to them as you go along. Use them and you'll learn them really quickly. So that's it for some helpful hints in FL Studio. Hope that helps you.